Bible says that in front of God they will be Hallelujah. Who is special? If you respect God, he's not going to Amen. Amen. If you love and you respect God, say I respect you. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Oh, thank you, Master. Let us lift our hands to the Lord. And, and tell the Lord, speak to me. Just tell the Lord, I want you to speak to me. In the name of Jesus. Father, speak to me. Amen. Amen. Lord, speak to our lives today. I'm your shout. I'm your verse. Lord, use me. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Jesus. 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 And Lord, as I stand in this house today, I pray for wisdom. I pray for the right words. I pray for every good direction. That Lord, by your Holy Spirit, you speak your word. We are here to listen. We are here to be paid. We are here to grow and to become the people that you call us to be. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. One day you will go to heaven. That is true. Amen. Because it's either to heaven or to. There is no in between. Amen. Amen. Either we are going to heaven or you are going to hell. Yeah. Kwa moto wa Amen. 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 And in this journey, we need to believe. We need to believe. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord, we need to believe. Help our unbelief. Hallelujah. There is this man that came to Jesus. And when he came to him, his level of belief was so down. And then um, he cried to Jesus. Jesus asked him, Do you believe? But the man was honest. But he cried to Jesus. I believe. But help my unbelief. Hallelujah. Amen. That man was so honest. And he told the Lord, Help my unbelief. Amen. Amen. Today we are going to share with you the ministry of the angels of God. Amen. Amen. We are all in authority of a believer. We are in the discussion about the authority of a believer. But now we go into the dimension of the ministry of the angels of God. Hallelujah. Amen. How many know that in this house there are angels? Hallelujah. Whether you believe or not, they are here. 
Whether you faint or not, they are here. Hallelujah. Amen. The other night I was in prayer. I pray almost every other night in the church nearby. And then uh, last week when I was praying, uh, at around uh, between two and three, um, when I was studying the Bible, um, I saw somebody that stood on the altar. And I had a voice. He told me it's time for you to come and pray. Then uh, I've seen angels so many times. I've seen them many times. Then in this in this one, when I have a voice. I understood this the angel that guides me when I want to pray. Amen. Amen. And the Lord told me, in everything you do, there is an angel that will guide you. And the land that they are with you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Father, cleanse us today. Cleanse us, Lord. I feel we pray this prayer, Lord, cleanse us. Uh, let us pray, let us pray. Tell the Lord, cleanse me. Tell the Lord, cleanse me. Today. I don't know why I feel that, but, but in the Spirit, the Lord is telling me. As to pray this prayer, cleanse me. Cleanse me by your blood. Lord, cleanse me by the power of your blood. In the name of Jesus. Father, cleanse me. Father, cleanse the church. By the power of your blood. And the spirit of holiness. Let the spirit of holiness go before us today. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. This is what the Lord spoke to Eli one day. So the Lord has chosen Eli to be a priest. Not Elia, El, Priest El. El, E, L, R. Yes. I'll go back to El. I'll go back to El. I'll go El. God has chosen El to be the priest. Hallelujah. Amen. That, that was God's own ordination. He pulled the oil and he said, You are and you are going to be my priest forever. But on the, on the course of life, when he was a priest, and he was not teaching his own children how to behave in the house of God. Hallelujah. 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 So he was chosen by God. And he was the one to offer sacrifices and pray for the children of Israel. A man that God honored to give him that position. But Eli was not teaching his own children how to behave in the house of God. And the Bible says the children of, of, of Eli they used to go into the church. They take the offerings. 
kuwa sadaka hallelujah amen those days they used to offer sacrifices of meat na hiyo wakati walikuwa wanatoa sadaka ya nyama and therefore the children of El used to come into the altar na watoto wa Eli walikuwa wanakuja kwa hiyo mazabahu and they take the meat that is that is used for sacrifice wanachukua hiyo nyama ambayo ilikuwa ina ajili ya sadaka and they eat na wanakula You understand? The meat that was supposed to be offered to God. They used to come and take. And they eat. And the was knew that was wrong. But it never cautioned them. He never said that this is wrong. And the children grew in the church. They became arrogant. Hallelujah. They became uh, uh, arrogant. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. And therefore the Bible says they even began sometimes to move the women in the church. And the Bible says Eli knew nothing and he never said anything. And I want you to hear what the Lord said. Open with me in the book of First Samuel, chapter number two. Samuel wa kwanza mstari sura ya pili. Thank you, Jesus. Asante Yesu. Verse number twenty-seven. Mstari wa ishirini na saba. Bible says. And then came a man of God unto Eli and said unto him, Thus says the Lord, Right plainly appear unto the house of thy father when they were in Egypt in Pharaoh's house. And I did not choose him out of all the tribes of Israel to be my priest, to offer upon my altar, to burn incense, to wear an effort before me. And then I and did I give unto the house of thy father all the offerings made by fire of the children of Israel. 29. Wherefore kicking at my sacrifice and at my my offering which are commanded me in my habitation and honor thou thy sons above me to make yourselves fat of the chiefs of all the offerings of Israel my people. 30. Wherefore Lord God of Israel say indeed that thy house and the house of thy father should walk before me forever but now the Lord has said be far from me for them that I honor me I will honor and they that despise me they shall be, they shall be lightly esteemed behold the days come that will cut off thy arm and the arm of thy father's house that there shall be no old man in thy house so kisha mtu wa Mungu akamwelekea Eli akamwambia Bwana asema hivi Je mimi sikujilisha nafsi yangu kwa nyumba ya baba yako walipokuwa katika misi wakitumikia nyumba ya farao Je sikumchagua yeye katika kabila zote za Israeli ili awe uhani wangu apande madhabahu kwangu na kufukiza ufumba na kuvaa na ipera mbele zangu nami sikuwapa nami sikuwapa watu wa mbali ya baba yako na bibi zote za wana wa Israeli zilizotolewa kwa kwa moto chini ya tisa kwa nini basi mnapiga kwa nini basi mnaipiga teke dhabihu yangu na sadaka yangu nilizoziamuru katika maskani yangu uka ukawaheshimu wanao kuliko mimi mpate kujinenepesha kwa sadaka zote za watu wangu Israeli zilizo jema kwa sababu hiyo Bwana Mungu wa Israeli asema ni kweli na nisema ya kuwa nyumba yako na nyumba ya baba yako itakwenda mbele za zangu milele lakini 
Sasa wana asema jambo hili na liwe mbali nami kwa maana wao wanaoniheshimu nitawaheshimu na wao wanao nidharau wakanisabiwa kuwa si kitu Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, thank you Jesus. Asante Yesu. Um, um I, I want us to learn in the house of God. Tutifunze ndani ya nyumba ya Bwana. Amen. Amen. In the house of favor. Ni mahali ya ni nyumba ya kibali. Oh, ni nyumba ya kibali. Yes. The house, the house of blessings. Yeah. Ni nyumba ya baraka. Hallelujah. Amen. Then I mean um early honor his own children above God. Early honor alishimu watoto wake zaidi ya Mungu. Hallelujah. Amen. That is verse number 3. Bible says early honor his own children above God. Biblia inasema kwamba Eli alishimu wana wake kuliko Mungu. Amen. Hallelujah. Don't be like Eli. Usiwe kama Eli. Amen. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible says Eli honor his own children above God. Biblia inasema kwamba Eli aliheshimu watoto wake zaidi kuliko Mungu. And because of that, na kwa hayo, because of that, na kwa sababu ya hayo, God spoke to Eli. Mungu akamwambia Eli. And he told Eli. Na akamwambia Eli. I have chosen you. Ili kuchagua that forever and ever kwamba milele na milele you will be my priest that you and your generation kwamba wewe na kizazi you will serve me utanitumikia you will always be great before me utakuwa uzuri mkubwa mbele yangu hallelujah na kwamba nikakuwa kama waheshimu mbele yangu au peace spending before hallelujah but the lord told me lakini mungu akamwambia eh but far be it from me lakini mbali na Hallelujah. Nimebadilisha au change mawazo yangu. My mind. Kwa sababu ya kitu moja. Because of something. Unaheshimu watoto wangu. You respect your children. Kuna liko mimi. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. You know we have to learn these things. Inabidi tutifunze haya. We have to learn these things. Inabidi tutifunze haya. No, so that you may let God be God in your life. Usudi umwache Mungu au Mungu ndani ya maisha yako. Hallelujah. Amen. You have to let God be God in your life. Una inabidi kumwacha Mungu au Mungu ndani ya maisha yako. When Abraham was blessed, wakati Abraham alibarikiwa, Abraham was very rich. Abraham alikuwa mtajiri kweli. Very rich, tajiri kabisa. But God said to tell Abraham, lakini Mungu alimwambia Abraham, take your only child, chukua tu mwana wako and go and offer unto him and to me a sacrifice. Chukua mwana wako na kwenda kumtoa kwangu kwa sadaka. Was it easy? Ilikuwa rahisi. Wazazi ni rahisi kweli? Wazazi ilikuwa rahisi. Tuseme sio rahisi. Sio rahisi. Amen. It's not easy. It's not easy. But it was a God wanted to test Abraham. Lakini Mungu alipima alitaka kumpima Abraham. Will Abraham honor his child or honor me? Je, Abraham atamheshimu mtoto wake ama mimi? Hallelujah. Amen. But he passed that exam. Na alikini alishinda hayo mtihani. And the Lord provided. Na Mungu akamuinua. Hallelujah. Amen. Every child that you come to the house of God. Na wakati wote unakuja ndani ya nyumba ya Bwana, just make one decision. Inabidi uchukue uamuzi moja. Hallelujah. Amen. There is favor that will come to you. Kuna kibali ambacho kitakuja kwako. There are prayers that God will answer. Kuna maombi ambayo Mungu atajibu. Not because of prayer. Sio kwa sababu ni omba. Not because of fast. Sio kwa sababu ni funga chakula. But you are honored. Lakini kwa sababu ni muheshimu. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Let us not be like Eli. Tusiwe kama Eli. 
Hallelujah. Amen. Let us not be like who? To see what come and any. 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 That God has chosen you to be very great. Ambao Mungu alichagua awe mkuu. That God has chosen maybe you to be very great. Inawezekana Mungu amekuchagua wewe uwe mkuu. But it's something along the way. Lakini katikati ya njia, cut your greatness. Una aribu mkubwa wako. Hallelujah. Amen. And that great net you may you may not reach at it. Say it is not my portion. Declare it is not my portion. Every greatness that God has put in me, it will come to pass. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hebrews chapter number uh, one and verse number uh, 14. Yeah, that one was uh, just a by the way. I have few minutes then we we pray. I want us to pray a lot today. Hebrews chapter number one. 14. The Bible says, are they not all ministering spirits sent forth to minister for them who are heirs of salvation? How would the zero what we call wa kitumwa kuwa kuwa kitumu wali wali watakao miti mokofu Who are the angels in our lives? Amen. Who are the angels in our lives? Can we use them? Unaweza kuwatumikisha? Hallelujah. Amen. Can we use angels? Unaweza kutumikishwa malaika? Can they obey your authority? Wanaweza kukubali uwezo wako. Hallelujah. Amen. Wanaweza kutii amri yako. Can they obey your authority? Can they? Those are the things that we want to learn. Those are the things we want us to learn today. How can I use an angel in my life? And who are they in my life? Do I have authority to use an angel? Can they serve me? Before God, angel and me, who is greater? Those are the questions that we want to answer today. Hallelujah. Amen. Mbele ya Mungu malaika na wewe ni nani mkuu? Before God, uh, angels and you who's prayer. Hallelujah. Amen. Say it is me. Sema ni mimi. It is me. Ni mimi. Hallelujah. Amen. Therefore the Bible says they are sent to serve me. Jo maana Biblia inasema kwamba walituma kunitumikia. They are sent to minister me. Walituma ili wapate
huyu mwanadamu Those are the questions the angels began to ask Hallelujah Amen. They began to ask such questions Amen, Amen. Hallelujah Amen. And I am the man that God has visited I am the man that God has visited You are
here. And they made them to be loose. Therefore, what do the angels come to do? What do they come to do? Amen. 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 Men of us sometimes uh, um, a witch or a sorcerer will do something even though you are in America and they are in Congo and it will come to you. Is it true? Yeah. Yeah. Is it true? Yeah. They don't care whether you are here. They don't care. If they want you, they will get you. Is it true? Yeah. You believe just true. Amen. And they can do so many things if you don't pray. Now, when I was a funny about me, you come out wrong. The question is, Swami, which means Managan do they use? Jealous of you. Those are mysteries, right? Simba, where are you? Those are mysteries, right? How come you speak and a witch will say you will not get a good job? And sure enough, they say do something and make sure you never get a good job. It was in a gym, Lucia said, How to pack a cousin to a queen in a little sympathetic cousin. Hallelujah. Why? How? J. Namada. Amen. I am in the deliverance ministry. Nikum, we do our Katakama of Uli. God has used me a lot to do deliverance. Now, I'm going to make a fire of Uli. Amen. Amen. One day when I was praying for a very young girl in, 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 in Denmark. Siku moja ni nikuwa ni kiyombea wa kijana mdogo huko Danima. Sichana wa meka kuna mbili. Alikuwa, he was like 12 years. When I laid her hands. Na wakati ni uweka mkono. A spirit spoke through her. Na roho mocha kasema Danima. And she said about which. Akasema mimi ni mlozi. So when I did the lunch. Na wakati ni niongoza. I later was speaking to the child. Na baada ni kazungumza na mtoto. The mother and the da- and the mother and the dad brought the child. I spoke to her. Baba na mama waleta mtoto na nikazungumza na. And that child told me very many things. Na yule mtoto aliniambia mambo mengi. She told me when when we sleep in the house, I can go to Congo. Aliniambia before they wake up I'm in the house. Na aliniambia kwamba mimi naweza kuamka na kwenda Congo na mimi na lala lakini Bela kuna muka na wacha mtu. And she told me, Alinyamia, Mimi yu nimesababisha mama na babamu wacha. I caused my father and mother to separate. And amazing enough, he told me, uh, there were two couples uh, just in the church. And she told me, Wale ama hawana mtoto wale. Mimi, and amazing thing, he he told me, she told me that uh, those who do, uh, don't have children, we deal with my colleagues so that they should not have a child. And if they believe, uh, they think that it's uh, false. And uh, physical, uh, uh, like physically, they haven't seen me in their house. But I can tell them everything which is in their house, even in their bedroom. <laughs> ask them to ask me questions and uh, I'll, I'll answer them. Because when people sleep, that is why our mission starts. People up, uh, I can just leave my body here. And when you wake up, you see my body. But I'm in the other side. Amen. I've done a lot of deliverance. A lot of deliverance. A lot of deliverance. Right? 
I've done a lot of them for many years. I have great experience. I've met demons in people. I've seen witches in reality in the church. I've seen all these things. Amen. Amen. I've been to a school in Kenya whereby they called me to do deliverance. High school. And these young girls, they were in Illuminati. And when I came to pray, one girl told me, you will not be late. We have seen many preachers coming here. And they go the same. Now one hand and a high. I will not I we don't think you'll make it. Hallelujah. Amen. But you know we walk by faith. We began to pray. They began to do their signs. The signs began to fail one by one. Until we finish. And the Lord now began to minister to me. They use demons. No matter where they are, they use demon spirits. They have mastered how to use demon spirits. To reach out to you. No matter where you are. They don't care. Distance is no value. You, you understand? Distance is no barrier. Then the question is if they can use demons and they do whatever they want. Why is it many Christians look very helpless? Hmm? The sorcerer tells him that uh, uh, you see me and you start to trouble. Why? Why? Because some of these things, like the ministry of the angels of God, you haven't yet now known its power. Amen? Amen? We haven't known the power that is in the ministry of the angels of God. There is a lot of power given to us. We act as, as, as our soldiers. They are able to block those demons. They are able to fight those demons. That is why some witches they understand I cannot come close to that man. When they see you, they know that you know how to use whatever God has given you. And they leave. They go to seek a higher someone that has power to deal with you. Hallelujah. Amen. But today, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Hallelujah. Amen. Ah, by His authority, we are going to use the age. We are going to use angels. And I'm telling you, church, there are doors that will open. Hallelujah. Oh, wow. 